Yeah, you know, I, I think we were at, at a point in the game where, uh, you know, uh, they, they, like you said, they had us on our heels a little bit. We weren't just attacking. Uh, the other thing is, if you're playing in the secondary and that thing opens up, uh, you know, when we had two very reliable players, you know, uh, not uh, not grinding in their gap, and it, that made it pop. It was his own play. That's truly the only play that they had. It was an inside run, and like you said, we've been solid on that, and we weren't. And then when it breaks through, you know, you got a safety or, or safeties in the middle of the field with all kinds of space, and. You know, they weren't able to just attack the guy. They had to just kind of stand him up and make sure he, he went down. Uh, what are your early thoughts about the uh, Washington State offense? Oh, I mean, I think anything can happen with Washington State. Uh, obviously, they, they understand the passing game. Uh, they throw the heck out of the ball. They're not dinking and dunking. They're going downfield with it. They've done a, a, a good job, uh, you know, protecting really up until last week. And uh, that was a matter of uh, Oregon just imposing their will on them in the second half. And instead of just playing coverage, they, they went after the guy with more than just, uh, you know, uh, two, three people. Uh, because we've seen as many, or should, should say as few as two people rush these guys, and everybody else is is back in back in coverage. So uh, I think you got to do a little bit of that. I think you got to get after him. You got to change it up on the rush and, and not let him sit back there and pat the ball. Uh, if he could, how many times do you think he'd throw the ball? Well, they they throw the ball 80 percent of the time. Uh, in the four games that we have on them. And uh, last week they threw the ball, I believe it was 67 times. Um, I think, uh, and maybe it might have been only, oh, I, I think I'll give them a, a big average. I'll say 80 plays. So uh, they, I think they'll throw the ball every down if they want to and, and just sprinkle in a little bit of run here and there just to keep you honest. So this week, is it more of the secondary being in coverage or is it guys like Crichton and Wing getting after them? Yes. You know, uh, pass coverage is pass rush and coverage, uh, and, and uh, linebackers involved underneath, uh, uh, nickels and dimes, and uh, and of course the uh, the front. I mean that 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 that's huge. You know, being able to have the ball thrown on time and not have somebody hang on to it. So uh, it, it's going to be a true team effort from that standpoint, no doubt. Uh, thoughts on Marquise Wilson? I mean, one of the better wide receivers in the. Yeah, when I mean when they throw the ball to him, uh, he's going to go up and get it. I mean, and he looks pretty too. Uh, you know, when when he's out in the open field running, he knows what to do with it, and he's he's got a great stride to him, good speed. But I tell you what, they've they've got a host of receivers, and uh, they've got a couple young guys that are that are getting a lot of catches. So it's it's not just Marquise. They've got three uh, receivers all with about the same catches. I think there's somewhere around 35 catches, and then another couple of people that are just below them with about 20. So there's a lot of opportunities to catch the ball and, and it's not just Marquise you know so they're, they're spreading the ball and spreading the wealth around real well uh, specifically there's a, a one freshman in particular I can think of right now uh, we watched the third down reel last night and he seemed to be the guy that came up with the, the plays on third down for him.